Hey everyone, this is Daniel Paladin with Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm here at Origins 23 at the Tin Robot Games booth, and I'm here with James. He's going to show us Cities of Venus. Hello, I'm James from Tin Robot Games, and let me show you Cities of Venus. Now, we just funded on Kickstarter last month. We're super excited to come down to booth 311 if you're here at the Origins Game Fair. Uh, we will actually still give you the Kickstarter pricing, so we're very excited to do that today. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview of this game. So this game plays one to four players or one to six. We've got two different versions of this game. The one to six player version comes with 100 more components than the four player game. The premise of this game is this is in the near distant future where humanity's established these floating cities in the clouds of Venus. Now, as the governors of each of these uh, cities, your responsibility is to keep the city growing and thriving and, and improving it through different innovations. And Earth is going to continue to send these drops to, uh, to Venus and they're going to fall through the clouds. And each player is going to have a chance to grab different immigration, add engineers to their city, or they're going to grab these upgrades and they're going to add to the city as well. Throughout the game, you're going to have opportunities to also mine for the precious v minerals. So as part of that, you've got these really cool mechs. We're going to have your V-knots, which are these little space guys, double printed on both sides. Go into your mech. That allows you to grab your ore die, roll it. In this case, you rolled up six. I would grab six minerals and add it to my board. Now, what's really exciting about this game is a simultaneous play. Everybody's doing all the actions at the same time. So it plays very, very fast. A one to six player game is going to play in just over an hour, about an hour and 15 minutes. Four player games going to be about four, 45 minutes, maybe 55 minutes in total. Throughout the game, you're trying to get these upgrades. And the cool thing about the upgrades is one of the really awesome profiles we have in this game is these quad layer boards. It's one of the first in the industry, very innovative. It allows you to take your upgrades and physically upgrade your boards. You got these capacities in the different departments, is what these six represent. Some of the powers are so strong that we offset that by nerfing your capacity a bit. In this case, your capacity drops down. But you got the peekaboo window that allows you to showcase the power you just unlocked for that department. You've actually made that department better. It's upgraded. It's more innovative. As you go throughout the game, uh, the simultaneous play occurs right up until the last step. And during the last step, the person that has the first player marker, they're going to get the first pick from the market. They're going to take a card, they add it to their player board, it goes to the next player, and then we're going to start this all over again with the new drop. Now, it's really, really harsh trying to survive in the clouds of Venus. And in fact, events are constantly happening. Bad stuff is constantly happening on Venus. In this case, when we do a drop, if you ever see a caution symbol, that triggers events. And you trigger events from the event deck. And they could be things like solar flares. You could have viral outbreaks. You could have solar storms. There's another viral outbreak. Every now and then something good happens. Earth sends an emergency drop of immigration to you, so you have some B-knots you can add to your station to help you replenish. The game is punishing. Bad stuff is constantly happening uh, in the clouds of Venus, but by the end, hopefully you've grown your city to a very thriving metropolis, and you've gained the most victory points than the other players, so you can become the president of Venus. So that's Venus in a nutshell. Awesome, so when will uh, people be able to get this? So, we, as we said, we just finished on Kickstarter. Uh, you do have the ability, if you go to citiesofvenus.com, that will bounce you over to our Kickstarter page. Likewise, if you just go to Kickstarter and type in citiesofvenus.com, you can find it there, or on tinrobotgames.com. All those will take you to a late pledge. Uh, so you can late pledge this now. Um, it's uh, gonna be open for about another three weeks, and then we'll start wrapping up the production on this. Uh, we're scheduled to have this in October of 2024 when they'll actually be shipping the copies. Because we've done so much of this work ahead of time, the molds are all done. The minis, uh, we just signed off on the molds here at the show. Uh, so we're going into production on the molds in this next month. We feel strongly we're probably going to beat that fall 2024 uh, date. And my hope, what I'm striving for, is I'm hoping to get it in the summer of next year that I'm shifting this game and getting to people's hands. Awesome. So what, what can people expect to come in the box? Oh boy, you're gonna literally get everything you see here. So, a lot of times people think, now the minis, I will disclaimer, these have been painted by my very talented niece. She loves painting minis. These will come ink wash, the minis, where you get the minis come in the game, uh, you get the first player marker, you get the volcano trays, you get the rocket ship trays. The uh, base four player game comes with 200 v not meeples. Uh, the six player, that goes up to 250. There's 100 more components in the six player version than in the four player version. The quad layer boards, 
Uh, if you've got a six player version, you're going to do six of these. Uh, there's actually more upgrades we even announced during the campaign. So even these little player boards, which are your international innovation station, where you have to get six VNOS to unlock the market for innovation, these are actually even going to be dual layer. They're going to come for it, and they'll have little cutouts for the guys to actually fit in to count your eight uh, VNOS. So another upgrade, those are going to be in the game as well. Uh, the neoprene mat rolls up, fits in the box. Everything you have is going to fit in a nice organized tray inside the box. The box is going to be thicker than the one we have here. These were the reviewer uh, copies that we have made. We're looking about an inch thicker on the box, the four player version. Six player version is going to be about two inches more in, in thickness. So, uh, super excited about this world we've created. We're already working on the sequel, which should be launching a year after that. And uh, the, even the sequel to that, we've got some uh, some rumblings of how that's going to uh, build out as well. So this is something that you're going to see coming wave after wave for probably the next 10 years. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.